Hello, it's Andrew Nelson. Uh, we're about to do a second trial to the video we produced five months ago at a property a kilometre up the road. These trees are 25 year old Valencias on trifoliata rootstock. They've been picked by hand all of their life. They're now well into the second half of their life and you'll see that there's, there's plenty of dead wood in them. We ran over these trees in December two years ago when the new fruit was about the size of a, a large marble as an experiment. We we're very pleased with the result. Our concern wasn't that we wouldn't be able to take the, the Valencias off, the, the new season's fruit. Our concern was how much damage we'd do to the, the, the crop that follows. It was hard to tell because the fruit was small, but we concluded that it wasn't all that serious. The Department of Agriculture did some trials and made the same conclusion. And that, yeah, that was it. We're now having a second look at the possibility of harvesting Valencias in late November and perhaps all of December until these second crop fruit um, are too big and will be taken off in big quantities by the harvester. It's now the end of February. Uh, we know there's going to be a lot of these things come off. That's not you know, the concern for today. What we're here to demonstrate is that the picking mechanism works on trees that we're saying are three, three and a bit metres tall and that you know, the fruit will, will pass through the system. The only alteration we've made to the machine from the trials or the work we did five months ago is we've altered a, one side of the picking mechanism to reduce the amplitude of the swing. We think it'll probably do less damage to the tree and less damage to fiberglass rods. The only preparation we've done to the orchard for this trial is we've, by hand, with a pair of loppers, skirted some of this low stuff out. Um, you can see in the, the adjoining row, it tends to hang to the ground. The reason for doing it, primarily the machine operator has got to be able to see the tree trunks as they pass into the harvester. And the second thing is very low hanging fruit tends to either pass underneath the harvester or get pulled off and fall on the ground. I think that after 10 years of development, this alteration to the, the amplitude might be the last significant change we make. There'll be incremental changes for you know, years and years and years to come. We already know it works on these large trees and it works well. It's just a matter of trying to clean the act up a bit so that you could run for you know, continuously for days on end. This is the load from that row. We're going to pick a hundred pieces of fruit each and grade them into fruit with stems over here and then split ones here. On the whole it's a sound load. There's very little juice on the floor of the harvester so it means we haven't split too many. And my guess would be that there's 20% with stems. That's too much for the Australian factories, but with a de-stemming machine somewhere in the system, um, I don't think that's unmanageable. I got 20% with uh, stems attached. They're not terribly significant stems, but uh, I don't, I'm not a juice processor, so I don't know how much trouble that would cause. Um, Dean up that end got 37 and a, a badly chopped fruit, which is there on that blue bar. It's a fairly representative sample. There are no major limbs because we don't do that. There's some twiggy matter here, uh, old wood from the tree, some leaves. It's about the same as we've been harvesting for the last four years. The old trees are much harder than the new ones, but we can still harvest them. The picking mechanism itself works well. It's the delivery system and the coordination type things that are hard on big trees but the picking mechanism itself is fine. It's encouraging I think yeah, this machine has got great applications um, for citrus growers around the world who are sending fruit into the juice factories. <laughs>